G'day guys, we are back with a another build. This is the continuation of the tank build I've been fine-tuning over the last couple of days. Um, a lot of you have provided some suggestions on how to improve, and I've taken that on board and created what I think to be a superior tank build than what I've uh, previously provided. So let's get into it real quick. This will uh, be a quick video, so don't want to drag on too long. We are still using the Alchemist with the Vi uh, Elixir of Life. And the Medic with the Healing Shield. We use the Healing Shield not only because it grabs uh, large amounts of HP regen, it will also proc this ring, the Generating Band which regenerates 3% of max health per second while shield is active, which is also why we stack HP. So, going down the list, we have the Leto Mark III as per normal. I've switched out the gauntlets for the Labyrinth gauntlet because for some reason, the armor on the gauntlets is higher um, than the Leto. Thank you very much to the commenter that pointed that out. This may be a bug, I'm not too sure, but either way, at this point in time, the Labyrinth Gauntlets have the highest base armor. So we are rocking that with some decent, decent armor. So 330, which brings us up to 73 uh, damage reduction. With the Relic we're using Tranquil Heart with healing effectiveness, um, health and armor. Very straightforward there. We want extra health so we can get more regen on the generating band because it goes off percentage rather than other numbers. We have increased armor just to increase our total armor. Very straightforward there. And healing effectiveness which increases all of our regen uh, including this and uh, this. So, we have a hell of a lot of regen going on right now. Now, moving over to the amulets, we are going with the Red Doe um, Sigil, which was again was suggested from one of our commenters. Thank you very much for that. Increases Relic Healing Effectiveness, which makes our Relic Heal at 2.9 health regeneration per second, with the original number being 2. Um, and... It doubles when the wearer's health is below 50%. Very, very good. Now we are using the Ring of Omens to spend our health rather than our stamina for dodging, which also gives us the misstep. The best dodge in the game. And, as we've already discussed multiple times, the Regenerating Ring uh, regenerates 3% of max health per second while shield is active. Absolutely incredible ring. Um, if you have high health, which we do, that is a very large amount of regeneration happening when a shield is on. Now we have the Ring of Crisis, which I think is a staple of any tank build. I've tried to run it without it, and it just doesn't. It just doesn't feel the same. The Ring of Crisis is... Incredibly important for any tank. When the wearer's health drops below 25%, gain a 25% shield of max health last 10 seconds. So that is essentially bringing our health back up to 50%, with 25% of it being classed as a shield. Thus also triggering the generating band, which is going to heal us a crap ton. Now, this is a new addition, Ring of Grace. Taking enemy damage causes 10% of max health to regenerate over 10 seconds. Now, if this bad boy is procced, this is procced, this is procced, every single one of these is procced, uh, including the healing effectiveness from the relic. So we are getting so many sources of regen, it is absolutely insane. Now, we'll go over the guns. Because I did change these around a bit to allow us to do additional damage. And we are actually taking advantage of our melee uh, this time around. So we were using the Nightfall as per usual. Uh, it's really... No really reason to use any other guns at this point. Um, it's just... Unfortunately, 
still the best gun in the game when it comes to higher difficulties. We've gone ahead and put the Twisted Wounds on there to proc bleed. It needs to be level 10 Twisted Wounds to proc that bleed and increase the damage done to the target. Over here, we have the Krell Axe. Now, this is going to be used consistently to apply overload and shock to enemies. So we're going to be throwing this bad boy out um, when we have a moment to apply that overload and shock. I've gone and put transference on there just to give us a little bit of utility to get some ammo. Um, and of course we have the Enigma. Uh, it's really hard to replace the Enigma as a uh, secondary weapon. It's just so good. Moving over to traits. Everything's relatively the same. We have Fortified for the increased armor. We have Potency from the class skill. Regrowth from the summoner skill. Triage from the medic skill. Untouchable is incredibly important for any build that is going to try and challenge Apocalypse. 30% invulnerability window is absolutely insane. And we got the additional health to help with our regeneration and survivability. These come default with the medic and the alchemist. So two points in expertise and spirit. This was a suggestion for one of the commenters on one of the past videos. Increasing uh, health regeneration in grey health. Absolutely amazing and it pairs well with our misstep which uses health and turns it into grey health. Fitness I have at 6 for 18% evade distance. Um, very good. Very good. You don't... Um, I don't think you really need any higher than this because of the misstep. It's already so good. And down the bottom we have lifesteal. Now this one, it's kind of up to you of what you're facing. If you feel like you have enough life steal going to keep you alive, uh, then I would say go to Shade Skin. But I've chosen the life steal because I want to make sure that I have consistent sources of health incoming. So regen and life steal are going to be stacking, and that stacks with the uh, life steal, 10% life steal coming from the Dreadwalker. Yeah, Dreadwalker. Yeah. So that's pretty much the build. Uh, I'm not going to show any gameplay of this this time around. It's all basically the same as every other gameplay that we've done for the tank. Just uh, play as you normally would and you die a hell of a lot less. Uh, yeah. But yeah, that's about it. Um, this may be my last uh, Remnant video for a while. We're going to be starting Baldur's Gate tomorrow. Very excited for that. Oh, got to touch on these. We are using the increased health tonic, the regen tonic, the armor tonic, and the dark cider to keep increasing our health up. And that's the maximum help we can get with this setup. I hope this helps you uh, conquer Apocalypse or whatever challenges you may be doing. Uh, but yes, yeah, stay tuned for some more videos and uh, hopefully... There'll be more videos out when the DLC has come out. Goodbye. Yeah,